You know, several years ago, I was in the home office. It's a Monday morning, and the phone rings. And I pick it up, and it's a potential client on the line. It's NASA on the line. It's the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. And they said to me, you know, Jim, we found you on the internet. We've read your material. We've watched your videos. We would like you to come in and talk to our team about the future of space. This is not your normal Monday morning type of phone call. Well, you have to know your client. I said, well, who's going to be in the room? They said, we're going to have some astrophysicists. We're going to have some people who are studying the origins of the universe. We're going to have some people who are building the replacement for the Hubble telescope, but we would like you to come and talk to us about the future of space. So it's about a week before I'm pulling together my PowerPoint presentation, and I'm thinking to myself, I, I might have bit off a little bit more than I can chew here. I mean, you know, these are incredibly brilliant people. I'm going to have a bunch of astronauts in the room people who are studying dark matter and the origins of the universe. What can I possibly talk to them about in terms of the future of space? And then I started thinking to myself, well, you know, the future, space, George Jetson. There's a connection there, right? So I pulled up this picture off George Jetson, found another picture, and I started my presentation for NASA by speaking about the Jetsons. Well, why would I do that? Do you remember this television show? It appeared in 1962. It purported to show what the world would look like in the year 2062, 100 years later. It was a view of the future. Do you know what's so absolutely fascinating? Think about what George is doing in this world. George is using Skype. George is talking to his boss via FaceTime. George is getting his news through the internet via an LCD screen. And my point to NASA was this. The future is coming at us, but the most important thing that we need to recognize is that it is accelerating. The future is coming at us faster than ever before. And if we do anything, it is to equip ourselves for an accelerating time.